After studying this module, you will be able to know about the new language of business reporting, learn how XBRL works, identify the benefits and risks associated with XBRL, understand IFRS taxonomy and analyze the status of XBRL in India. XBRL stands for Extensible Business Reporting Language. XBRL is standard based way to communicate and exchange business information between business systems. These communications are defined by metadata set out in taxonomies which capture the definition of individual reporting concepts as well as the relationship between concepts and other semantic meanings. Information being communicated or exchanged is provided within an XBRL instance. XBRL is based on XML for financial reporting. XBRL was originally from the Washington State Public Accountants Charles Hoffman made in 1998, the prototype for the XFRML later renamed as XBRL. The emergence of XBRL solves the problem of increasing the error probability of information and information processing. It can easily exchange data between various systems. From the year 2001 to the year 2012, XBRL international organizations has held 24 international conferences in the United States of America, Australia, Germany, Canada, Japan, the Netherlands and other countries successfully. The XBRL framework is currently being developed by a consortium of organizations including professional bodies, software houses, large listed companies in US and Europe and the big four accounting firms. XBRL is the open international standard for digital business reporting managed by a global not-for-profit consortium XBRL International. XBRL is used around the world in more than 50 countries. Millions of XBRL documents are created every year, replacing older paper-based reports with more useful, more effective and more accurate digital versions. In a nutshell, XBRL provides a language in which reporting terms can be authoritatively defined. Those terms can then be used to uniquely represent the contents of financial statements or other kinds of compliances, performance and business reports. XBRL lets reporting information move from organizations rapidly, accurately and digitally. The change from paper, PDF and HTML based reports to XBRL once is a little bit like the change from film photography to digital photography or from paper maps to digital maps. The new format allows you to do all the things that used to be possible but also opens up a range of new capabilities because of the information is clearly defined platform independent, tested and digital. Just like digital maps, digital business reports in XBRL format simplify the way that people can use, share, analyze and add value to the data. XBRL is a language for the electronic communication of business and financial data 
विच इज रेवल्यूशनाइजिंग बिजनेस रिपोर्टिंग अराउंड द होल वर्ल्ड इट प्रोवाइड्स मेजर बेनिफिट्स इन द प्रेपरेशन एनालिसिस एंड कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ बिजनेस इंफॉर्मेशन इट ऑफर्स कॉस्ट सेविंग ग्रेटर एफिशियंसी एंड इम्प्रूव्ड एक्यूरेसी एंड रिलायबिलिटी टू ऑल दोज इन्वॉल्व इन सप्लाइंग और यूजिंग फाइनेंशियल डेटा एक्स पी आर एल स्टैंड फॉर एक्सटेंसिवली बिजनेस रिपोर्टिंग लैंग्वेज इट इज ऑलरेडी बींग पुट टू प्रैक्टिकल यूज इन अ नंबर ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेश ऑफ एक्स बी आर एल आर ग्रोइंग रेपिडली अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एक्स बी आर एल इज एन ओपन रॉयल्टी फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर स्पेसिफिकेशन डिवेलप्ड थ्रू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कोलेबोरेशन बिटवीन अकाउंटेंट्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड टूगेदर दे फॉर्मड एक्स बी आर एल इंटरनेशनल which is now made up of 650 members which include global companies accounting technology government and financial service bodies xbrl is and will remain an open specification based on xml that is being incorporated into many accounting and analytical software tools and applications XBRL offers major benefits at all stages of business reporting and analysis. The benefits are seen in automation, cost saving, faster, more reliable and more accurate handling of data, improved analysis and in better quality of information and decision making. XBRL enables producers and consumers of financial data to switch resources away from costly manual processes typically involving time consuming comparison assembly and reentry of data they are able to concentrate effort on analysis aided by software which can validate and process xbrl information XBRL is a flexible language which is intended to support all current aspects of reporting in different countries and industries. It is extensible nature means that it can be adjusted to meet particular business requirements even at the individual organization level. All types of organizations can use XBRL to save cost and improve efficiency in handling business and financial information because xprl is extensively and flexible it can be adapted to a wide variety of different requirements all participants in the financial information supply chain can benefit whether they are preparers transmitters or users of business data xprl is a set to become the standard way of recording storing and transmitting business financial information it is capable of use throughout the world whatever the language of the country concerned for a wide variety of business purposes it will deliver major cost savings and gains in efficiency improving processes in companies governments and other organizations xprl benefits comparability of financial statements by helping to identify data which is genuinely alike and distinguishing information which is not comparable computers can process this information and populate both predefined and customized reports xbrl is simply a language for information it must accurately reflect data reported under different standards it does not change any accounting standards xbrl increases the usability of financial statement information the need to rekey financial data for analytical and other purposes can be eliminated 
by presenting its statements in XBRL format, a company can benefit investors and other stakeholders and enhance its profile. It will also meet requirements of regulators, lenders and other consumers of financial information who are increasingly demanding reporting in XBRL. This will improve business relations and lead to a range of benefits. With full adoption of XBRL, companies can automate data collection. For example, data from different company divisions with different accounting systems can be assembled quickly, cheaply and efficiently. Once data is gathered in XBRL, different types of reports using varying subsets of the data can be produced with minimum effort. A company's finance division, for example, could quickly and reliably generate internal management reports, financial statements for publications, tax and other regulatory filings as well as credit reports for lenders. Not only can data handling be automated, removing time-consuming, error-prone processes, but the data can be checked by software for accuracy as well. XBRL makes the data readable with the help of two documents, namely taxonomy and instance document. Taxonomy defines the elements and their relationships based on the regulatory requirements. Using the taxonomy prescribed by the regulators, companies need to map their reports and generate a valid XBRL instance document. The process of mapping means matching the concepts as reported by the company to the corresponding element in the taxonomy. In addition to assigning XBRL tag from taxonomy, information like unit of measurement, period of data, scale of reporting, etc. need to be included in the instance document. There are a number of ways to create financial statements in XBRL. The XBRL aware accounting software products are becoming available which will support the export of data in XBRL form. These tools allow users to map charts of accounts and other structures to XBRL tags. Statements can be mapped into XBRL using XBRL software tools designed for this purpose. Data from accounting databases can be extracted in XBRL format. It is not strictly necessary for an accounting software vendor to use XBRL. Third party products can achieve the transformation of the data to XBRL. Applications can transform data in particular forms into XBRL. The route which an individual company may take will depend on its requirements and the accounting software and systems it currently uses among other factors. India is now an established jurisdiction of XBRL International. A separate company under Section 25 of the Companies Act has been created to manage the operations of XBRL India. The main objectives of XBRL India are to create awareness about XBRL in India, to develop and maintain Indian taxonomies and to help companies adopt and implement XBRL. Taxonomies for Indian companies are developed based on requirements of Schedule 6 of the Companies Act, accounting standards issued by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and Securities Exchange Board of India, commonly known as SEBI, listing requirements, taxonomies for manufacturing and service sector referred as commercial and industrial or CNI and banking sector 
is acknowledged by XBRL International. These taxonomies are available at the website www.xbrl.org.in. Taxonomy can be referred as an electronic dictionary of reporting concepts. Taxonomy consists of all the data definitions, the basic XPRL properties and the interrelationships amongst the concepts. It includes terms such as net income, EPS, cash etc. Each term has specific attributes that help define it including label and definition and potential references. Taxonomies may represent hundreds or even thousands of individual business reporting concepts, mathematical and definitional relationships among them. Along with text labels in multiple languages, references to authoritative literature and information about how to display each concept to our user. An XPRL instance document is a business report in an electronic format created according to rules of XPRL. It contains facts that are defined by the elements in the taxonomy it refers to together with their values and an explanation of the context in which they are placed. XPRL instances contain the reported data with their values and contexts. Instance documents must be linked to at least one taxonomy which defines the contexts, labels or references. Thus, in order to conclude the usage and explain of XPRL technology which leads to more information exchanges that can be effectively automated by use. This one standard approach leads to the best interest of the company or more so for the international business interests globally that warrant the accuracy of all the financial data for the end users and early collaborative decisions by the companies or those whose interest is involved for acquisition or rights etc. Now that we have discussed the concept of XBRL, let us now discuss its key elements in detail. One of the best ways to get to know a new metadata schemes is to dive in and look at the specific elements. XBRL is simply not that simple. XBRL is more than just a metadata scheme. It is a framework for developing standardized taxonomies that can be used to create metadata for specific business reporting needs. IASB in the year 2007 provides a good overview of the four key XBRL elements. These are taxonomy, schema, link basis and instance documents. We can see in the figure all the key elements of XBRL. It demonstrates how these elements link together to create XBRL enabled reporting. Like an XML based languages, each of the XBRL taxonomies consist of core elements collectively known as the schema which interacts with each other and the external environment in specifically defined ways through a series of link bases which when put together with specific data enable users to produce instance documents. So before we look at elements, have to understand the basic structure of XBRL. XBRL consists of instance documents. This is the actual XBRL marked up documents. Taxonomies, basically a document of concept definitions or a dictionary. In terms of the metadata terminology, we used in the class, the taxonomy document provides the semantics 
for a particular XPRL instance document. The taxonomies also define AR keys of the concept. If necessary, taxonomy could describe one item in more than one language. The taxonomy itself is extensible, that is, a user can split one item into two different items. For example, instead of just sales, equipment sale and consumable sales could be used. Link bases. Unlike the taxonomies which define the elements called items in XBRL, link bases are documents that define various relationship between items. The five types of link bases are reference, label, definition, calculation and presentation. The instance document taxonomies and link bases are all connected using an XML linking standard called XLink. XBRL was developed primarily by accountants as a way of standardizing business reporting. As such, GAAP which is known as generally accepted accounting principles are the standard types of elements we find in XBRL taxonomies. The figure shows here is a small example of XBRL intended for reading by computers, not humans. This XBRL data when presented in human readable form would appear as shown in the table here. XBRL in financial and business reporting supply chain. Business reporting information supplied by one organization is often used as an input for the processes of another organization. This process is often referred to as the information supply chain is a model that describes information disclosure process from the start of the transaction within primary and support processes to the use of reporting information by stakeholders. Let us now discuss the benefits and risks associated with XBRL. Starting with benefits, XBRL improves the overall quality and accuracy of data obtained from companies. It reduces potential errors from manual entry through machine transfers of reporting information. It allows financial analysts, investors, internal users and ability to access, compare and analyze data in ways that currently are not practical or even possible. It accelerates the analysis of financial data, for example, not requiring analysts to rekey, validate or normalize data. It increases the speed at which financial decisions can be made by analysts, investors, lenders, rating agencies, etc. It allows easier, more automated processing and analysis of financial information. It reduces cost of preparing and submitting financial information to regulators and banks. XBRL related risks are The primary risk associated with XBRL is providing data that is inconsistent with the corresponding financial statements which include incorrect tagging, inconsistencies in amounts and missing data. A secondary risk is that the XBRL formatted information will fail to comply with the complex rules contained in Edger Filler Manual. Other risks associated with XBRL filings include missed filings deadlines because of the added effort required by XBRL and failure 
to safeguard confidential information when utilizing outside service providers. Our next topic of discussion is IFRS and XPRL. IFRS is used as a basis for producing financial statements in more than 100 countries. XPRL, a separate and unrelated worldwide consortium effort, is also achieving significant global adoption as a standard for electronic communication and mediation of business reporting data including financial reports. The International Accounting Standards Committee known as IASC Foundation is responsible for developing the IFRS XBRL taxonomy. The IASC Foundation was one of the founding members of the XBRL. International Consortium has been publishing XBRL taxonomies since the year 2002. The IFRS taxonomy is used as core taxonomy in a number of significant regulatory projects. There are scope, content and architectural differences between the IFRS taxonomy and other financial reporting taxonomies, for example, the US GAAP taxonomy. Adoption of XBRL in the world Considering the benefits that XBRL provides, many countries worldwide are adopting XBRL in their reporting frameworks. While several of the countries have already mandated XBRL reports, few others have started voluntary XBRL programs. Belgium, Canada, China, Korea, the Netherlands, Singapore, South Africa, Spain, United Kingdom, the United States of America, Denmark, Germany, India, Ireland, Japan, European Union, UK, France, Poland, Sweden, Norway, Italy and Portugal are the countries where all the selective XBRL projects are happening around the world. XBRL in India The Stock Exchange Board of India known as SCB has mandated the top 100 companies listed on two major exchanges such as the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange to file their disclosures through XPRL based compiling. In addition to the mandated 100 companies, over 500 companies are filing voluntarily their financials in XPRL. The Reserve Bank of India, India's central bank, is implementing XPRL in a phased manner to bring all the returns which the banks have to file. RBI launched in October 2008 IRIS XPRL based reporting framework designed for the capital adequacy returns. All these standard commercial banks of base 2 use this platform, returns fortnightly liquidity position and annual financial statements are in pipeline. The premier accounting body in India, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, awarded IRIS the project to develop taxonomy for India based on Indian GAAP. The taxonomy for commercial and industrial sector is completed and ready for acknowledgement from 12 the taxonomies for banking industries are under development. Circulars and updates of XBRL in India are Exposure draft of Excel template of taxonomy for life insurance companies and general insurance companies. XBRL banking taxonomy 
acknowledged by XPRL International. Exposure draft of elements specific for power sector companies for inclusion in CNI taxonomy. XBRL India is a company registered under Section 25 of the Companies Act 1956, incorporated for managing the affairs of Indian jurisdiction of XBRL International. XBRL International is comprised of jurisdictions which represent countries, region or international bodies and focus of XBRL in their area. XBRL Indian Jurisdiction is an established jurisdiction of XBRL International. Its objectives are to promote and encourage the adoption of XBRL in India as a standard for electronic business reporting in India. To facilitate education and marketing of XBRL. To develop and manage XBRL taxonomies. To keep developed XBRL taxonomies updated with regard to international developments. To represent India interests within XBRL International. To contribute to the international development of XBRL. XBRL India is a company registered under Section 25 of the Companies Act 1956, incorporated for managing the affairs of India jurisdiction of XBRL International. It is comprised of jurisdiction. XBRL India is the Indian jurisdiction of XBRL International. Its main objective is to promote and encourage Adoption of XBRL in India as the standards for electronic business reporting in India. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. XBRL involves machine readable tag data, which is metadata or data about data, and in is fast becoming the digital standard for communication, business and financial information. The idea behind XBRL is simple. Instead of treating financial information as static text, as in standard interest page or a printed document, XBRL provides an identifying tag for each individual item of data whether numeric or textual. This tag is computer readable and allows the information to be used interactively. XBRL works better, faster and cheaper. Cost of implementation of XBRL is high. XBRL should benefit many stakeholders in the financial reporting supply chain. Government and regulators also see the need for the potential benefits of XBRL in financial reporting. Although XBRL is a global technology standard for business reporting, it has localized place in many countries. An IFRS based financial reports may be created in XBRL format to facilitate the regulatory filing communication process and subsequent use and analysis. The movement of IFRS may also stimulate greater interest in XBRL. XBRL is today managed and promoted by XBRL International, a not-for-profit making consortium with companies, government bodies and other organizations as its members.